The Bob Moog Foundation is pleased to present our focal education initiative, Dr. Bob's Sound School. This full grade school curriculum is designed to teach kids the science of sound through the magic of music. In designing this curriculum, the Bob Moog Foundation was always guided by its mission, to ignite creativity at the intersection of music, science, history, and innovation. And of course, we are always inspired by our namesake, Bob Moog. Bob inspired a generation of people to expand their own creative horizons by finding their intersection of music and science. And now, with Dr. Bob's Sound School, we are inspiring future generations of creative thinkers through his legacy. Dr. Bob's Sound School has been implemented in school districts for two academic years. In this time, we have doubled the number of school districts included in the project and tripled the number of schools involved with 32 classrooms. Over 600 students are engaged in the creative exploration of the science of sound through music. Dr. Bob's Sound School has been developed through a collaboration of team members with expertise in music, sound, and education. We are led by Michelle Moog Kusa, Executive Director of the Bob Moog Foundation. Dr. Jonna Kwiatkowski is the Curriculum Research Coordinator, contributing expertise in curriculum design and evaluation, as well as 15 years of research into the physiology of creativity. The content of the curriculum was crafted by our curriculum development team, Donalyn Small, Brooks Butler, Geary Yelton, and Mark Doughty. In addition to the student curriculum, we have designed a teacher training program to support teachers in their understanding of the content. The curriculum for Dr. Bob Sound School was designed to teach students the science of sound through the magic of music. We do this by modeling science learning using Bob's own science notebooks. We also use electronic musical instruments that allow students to explore sound directly and creatively. Dr. Bob's Sound School is a full grade school curriculum meant to improve upon standardized science of sound curricula through interesting content, exciting activities, and engaging technology and teaching aids. It includes an adapted version for students learning English as a second language and was designed to meet national and state standards for teaching the science of sound. All of the lessons in Dr. Bob's Sound School are hands-on learning activities designed to inspire children to explore sound and learn about science in an interactive and fun way. In addition to the students' lessons, we have created a teacher training program to encourage teacher comprehension of Dr. Bob's Sound School. Just like in the students' lessons, we enhance teacher understanding by teaching sound through music. It is our intention to empower teachers so that they will be partners in Dr. Bob's Sound School, creating a self-sustaining system of learners and teachers. So let's take a look at some of the highlights from student lessons. Students are challenged to learn more about how sound waves travel by creating chains of sound using cards which simply and vividly portray the life cycle of a sound wave and putting them together in appropriate order. In other lessons, students learn about the properties of sound by acting like air molecules bumping into each other at faster and slower paces, representing sound moving through the air medium, as well as watching sound waves on an oscilloscope where they can compare high and low pitch sounds, as well as observe the loudness of sounds. And of course, we include plenty of musical instruments, including the theremin, so that students can explore sound through music. At the end of Dr. Bob's Sound School, we bring together all of the students in classrooms in a school district so that they can describe what they have learned creatively. In Asheville City Schools, this event happens at the Orange Peel, a local music venue. Each classroom gets up on stage and expresses what they have learned about sound and sound waves through art, music, poetry, and games. It's a wonderful celebration of Bob Moog and his legacy. At the end of the first year of DBSS, we collected data to evaluate the effectiveness of this curriculum. We evaluated our pilot year results by comparing pre and post test scores for students that learned about sound using DBSS against students who learned about sound using a more standard approach. We were pleased to find that students that learned using DBSS showed greater engagement in learning and expressing what they learned about sound, as well as a deeper understanding of sound. Looking ahead to the future of DBSS, we have identified our next steps. We are committed to extending DBSS to more students in more classrooms and more school districts, regionally as well as nationally. In addition, we have plans to create adaptive versions of DBSS for special needs classrooms, as well as to extend DBSS to versions appropriate for higher grades so students can learn about the science of sound through DBSS all the way through their education. We know that to keep the momentum going for DBSS, we will need additional funding. 
It'll cost $20 per student or $500 per classroom to extend DBSS further. This cost includes material for each classroom, including lesson plans for teachers, custom learning aids for students, and instruments that are part of each DBSS kit. In addition, we will extend administrative support for this program so that we can maintain quality as we continue to grow. Finally, we will continue teacher training so that every teacher involved with DBSS is a long-term partner in our project. We hope through this presentation you can see and appreciate all the things about DBSS that make us so proud. This is a project with great potential to ignite creativity at the intersection of music, science, history, and innovation. And we hope that you will continue to find ways to support the Bob Moog Foundation, as well as DBSS. Thank you very much.